Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Farhat and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of Web of Life. I placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 14. The number of organisms in a pond is shown in the table below. We are supposed to look for statements which are correct. And if we do a quick scan of the statements, we are basically supposed to determine how many habitat, populations, and communities there are in the pond. So, let's begin with a population. A population is a group of organisms of the same species that live and reproduce together in the same place at the same time. Now, one thing to note is, if there's only one organism, can we call that a population? No, a single organism does not make a population. So if we do a quick scan of the number of organisms, all the numbers are more than one. So let's begin counting the number of populations. Let's start with four ducks. Now the four ducks, that is the first population. So I'm going to put the number one with a circle to indicate that's population number one. Six frogs, that is the second population. Now what about the seven tadpoles? Can I call that the third population of animals? No, tadpoles and frogs are the same species. So I'm going to use the same number two to indicate that this is the second population. Now what about the three water lilies? That would be the third population. The four male goldfish? That would be the fourth population. What about the goldfish eggs and the female goldfish? Can that be number five and population number six? No, they should all be population number four since they are all the same species. And finally, we have the five water hyacinth that would make up the fifth population. So we have a total of five populations of organisms living together in this pond. And since they are living together in the same place, what do we call the pond? Yes, we give it a special name. The pond is known as a habitat. How many habitats do we have in this question? Since we only have one pond, we only have one habitat. And what is the community? A community is formed when different populations live together and interact in the same habitat. And since these five populations of organisms all live together in the same habitat, which is the pond, how many communities do we have forming here? We have one community. So now that we have all the correct numbers, let's check our statements. Statement 1. There is one habitat. That's correct. That's the pond. And we have five populations. That is also correct. We know our answer is number one, but let's just check the other options to be sure. There are eight communities and one habitat. Is that correct? No, we do not have eight communities. We only have one community and we have one habitat. So statement two is out. Statement three, there is one community and eight populations. We know one community is correct, but we have five populations, so that is out. Option 4. There are 55 populations and 5 communities. Where did this number 55 come from? 55 actually represents the total number of organisms. And we know there are only actually 5 populations and 1 community. So statement 4 is also not true, giving us the answer as option 1. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!